Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 13. I'm the Mysterious JG. Last time we had, I would guess, a fairly successful video, sort of, kind of. Uh, Lu Bu came in and stole our kill, so to speak. And now Jiang Jia is part of Lu Bu's force, but it's part of uh, the Lu Bu district and not the JG district, which means that we will never be able to predict when they're going to be useful to us and what the fuck they're ever going to do. A couple of things that uh, pop into mind as possibilities. We could uh, attack Shangyang. That would give me another city that I know I would control, but it would also potentially call out Yang Ren as a foe. He's got... I don't know. It's probably not going to be that big of a deal. But What I really want to do is neutralize Liu Biao, try to find a way to have peace with uh, the two S forces here, the Shi clan and the Sun clan. And personally, I would like to uh, focus my next round of attention on um, Liu Zhang. He's got a small number of good officers, but by and large not one of the better forces, but he's got really good cities, and Liu Zhang himself is not a competent leader. Chengdu is one of the best cities in China in this game. I would love to have that as one of our cities. Um, in the last video... You see Lu Su, it looks to be the guy who's been placed in charge. Yep, that's Lu Su, alright. Um, the Sun clan marched across the Zhangdong and uh, took over one of um, Yuan Shu's cities. Lu Bu's main district just didn't do a fucking thing about it. And um, I don't know what they think they're doing. I guess they're uh, prepared in case of an infraction by Yuan Shao, but they didn't seem to feel the need to defend Yuan Shu. And even though he declared his intention of taking over a bunch of Chao Tsao cities, uh, Lu Bu hasn't moved yet. And I'm a little worried when he does, he's going to demand that we participate in an attack, which is just going to suck off troops. Uh, if we were to look at overall forces, we can see that the Lu Bu force... I'm trying to get the entire force, not a city... Well, I guess we can look at it from the menu here. The uh, <clears throat> Lubu's overall force has uh, a presence of 8,000. We've got um, over 300,000 troops. So we've got more troops than Liu Zhang and a bigger presence. We've got a lot more troops than Ma Tang. I'm surprised it has as much success against Cao Cao as he's had. We've got more troops than Sun Xuan, but not by much. Um, not by as much as I would like. We've got better supplies, better harvest. We've got more gold and more income, but we've got a lot. We've got well, not that much more expense. At any rate, no, we're not as strong compared to Wu as I would like. Um, Liu Biao's force has been beaten down pretty hard, but the problem is I'm trying to conquer it, and I can only use the cities in my district to do it. Zhang is pretty much fucked. It's over. Um, sadly, I was really hoping to absorb Zhang ourselves because there's some good created officers in there. Although one of them was killed by Zhou Tai. I'm uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on your name. I'm sorry, dude. Um, do I have my little spreadsheet open with the name of the characters? I don't think I do. No. Because I would recognize it, but I saw it. But um, yeah, we already had a created officer killed in battle by Zhou Tai. Sadly, we didn't get to see it because that would have been pretty exciting. Gong Zing Zan is, uh, you know, not much of a force, really. Shi Ji has got, uh, not too many more forces than, uh, Liu Biao has at this point. And Zhang Lu is just one city. I mean, we could go try to take Zhang Lu out, but it would be exposing us to Ma Tang. Cao Cao, though, is, and Yuan Shao are the ones to be worried about. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao both have, um,. Armies on par with ours in size, but ours is kind of spread out at this point. We've got 10 cities. Cao Cao has 7, but he's got 79 officers. So he's got more officers than us. Yuan Shao has 10 cities and a lot fewer officers. But he's got the biggest army in China, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So uh, we have no allies right now, and um, because of my bizarre plans, if I wasn't allowed to control who we had alliances with, i would put us in a position where we've got a lot of different countries who border us. And I think it's a really bad idea for us to become hostile with Cao Cao, but Lu Bu doesn't seem to agree. Our uh, district objective is to take Changsha. That would uh, that would be the uh, objective for our little uh, mini force. 
But in fact, my current short-term objective is to get to Jiang Yang and participate in the overall force uh, council thingy. Whatever. Or I might be able to have a say in, in matters. It's possible that I could uh, suggest we negotiate with uh, Cao Cao. And if I do that, let Cao Cao and Yuan Shao beat on each other for a little bit longer. Could work out to our advantage. I will aid Chase you. I'm not going to aid the people. Screw them. Hopefully I will still have a chance to attend this ministry. Otherwise I'll be very upset. I would have rather helped out um, Jiao Chan, but that wasn't an offer. Let's uh, make sure that our other officers are doing something. She wants some patrolling to take place, and I think she's right. I think she's the lady for the job. I think she was the only officer available, so this other suggestion was probably for something for her to do, too. And Lu Lin Ki is asking for help, which is too bad, because I can't give it to her. So I got to know that person a little bit better. But no, I'm trying to get to the council. Alright. Ubu wants to discuss the present situation. It is what it is. We want me to tell you, Ubu. We must decide what to do under our current circumstances. Oh shit, JG forgot to start the timer. Hold on, I better figure out how far we are in the video so I know where to put it. Do 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 do. do. Give JG a minute. This is all his fault. Died. Blue Boo, not responsible for this. All right. Speak now if you have anything to suggest. So Fang Jiao, that bloodthirsty murderess, wants uh, wants to attack Cao Cao, which is what they're already uh, were planning to do, but hadn't executed. Vulture Bean wants better commerce. So I could try to propose an alliance with Cao Cao, or I could try to propose an alliance with Sun Xuan. Or I could try to propose an alliance. Well, I could try to propose an alliance with anybody. I just saved. What if I try to propose an alliance with Cao Cao? Rapport minus 60. What if I try to propose an alliance with Sun Xuan? Rapport minus 35. What if I tried to propose an alliance with Yuan Shao? Rapport minus 24. What if I did conquer force? City 3, super easy. I don't think it's going to let me ally with Cao Cao again. <sighs> I want to save load here. Honestly, I really want to save load here because I lost a. Um... Fuck it, let's save load. You guys don't mind if I save load just this once, right? I want to see if there's any way that this can happen. Well, we need now our allies and alliance with Tao Tao Army can only do us good. We must look what we can do with. He wants blood. Ling Lu's on my side, thank goodness. Falgers with Vulture Beam. Fat John, you traitor. So I got some support. But Vulture Bean betrayed me by proposing something first. I've decided that. Do not decide just yet. Okay, so they're going to debate. Fang Jiao won the debate, and we're going to go to war with Cao Cao. 
So what I want to do now is load because I want to try proposing something else and see if it's going to work. I don't mind that I didn't my proposal didn't win so much. Well, I, I do, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to feel this thing out. I'm surprised that I only got one person to support me, and I'm a little surprised at who it was. I thought I had as much of a close relationship with um. characters who couldn't be bothered to support me, like Falger and uh, Vulture B, and I thought I'd done enough work with them that I would have really high alignments or rapport or whatever. Chronicles of Lushi. Government plus two. I think I've already got something that boosts government. Well, these both boost government. Interesting. Yeah, the government boosts, like, the, this, those boost things don't stack, so. Now I can spend ten days searching. I'll find something more useful to do than that. I'll aid Che Zhao, same as I did last time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think he wants to train this time, and actually I think that's more useful. For sure there's nobody that we can try to hire. There's probably nobody that I can give any order to. So if I just decided to attack here, I wonder what... Um, 9,000, 13,000, 17,000, 19,000. It would be enough be kind of hard to gather. It would be enough, but it, some of them would be coming from pretty far away. I was just curious. I'm not going to do that right now. So, I guess we'll try... Um, uh, what I'll do is I'll save before we actually go into the council. Because as a rule, I don't want to save scum, but I'm... I want to get this this council right. I feel I, I'm still annoyed that several videos ago we lost a favor because a council got called and my orders got middle uh, canceled right in the middle of me calling in a privilege that I was going to use to get an alliance going. That is still bothering me. I it can admit it. So present situation. You want better commerce, so we're actually getting different suggestions this time. Now Blue Boo himself is suggesting we attack Cao Cao, which makes it seem even less likely that we'll beat him, but... Well, maybe I'll try it. It'd be kind of weird if uh, we can beat Cao Cao, but we couldn't... or uh, Lu Boo, but we couldn't beat Vulture Bean. If it goes to... If it goes to a, um... Debate, we'll certainly beat Lu Boo. Damn it, why are you siding with Ling Lu? Huh. So this time we got two, two, and two. But Lu Bu doesn't care. And fair enough. Lu Bu actually had a proposal, and he doesn't really care what these other proposals were. It's like, I want to kill Cao Cao. And I'm like, we should be friends with Cao Cao. And he's like, no. Fair enough. That's about how it would go. And people have wanted me to say, oh, Lu Bu, if you would have only listened to my strategies. Well, that's that's where we're at. I've got a better idea, and Lu Bu don't want to hear it. So we're getting the better commerce one. We're getting the attack Cao Cao. What if I propose... That we finish off. Liu Biao's army. The time has come to put Liu Biao in his place. One year's time is enough to rid the land of Liu Biao army. Zhang, Zhang Liao goes to Liu Bu, of course. Vulture Bean is not going to go with a war path. 
Which means this is, I, I got actually less support for this. Oh, you, you fuckers. Did he actually go with Ling Lu that time? Oh, I pulled support away from Ling Lu that would have actually uh, kept us on a domestic path. Alright, so I, I'm not going to be save scumming as a rule in this LP, but I'm kind of interested in, in playing around with this mechanic. Because I haven't had a chance to really do too much with it. So what if we suggest... Um, so now I'm going to suggest that we form an alliance with Wu. So he wants to go domestic. He wants to attack Cao Cao. And I would propose that we cash in alliance with Sun Xuan. Yang Jiao is fucking us up too. Yang Jiao is the created character who didn't appear out right away because he was too young. But we got the exact same thing. I've got personal f relationships with Vulture Bean and Fang Jiao, I think, are pulling them away from supporting the diplomatic solution, but they wouldn't be pulled into supporting a war solution. So if I propose something that they can kind of deal with, they'll come to me away from uh, Ling Lu's proposal. Whereas if I don't and I left Ling Lu's proposal or I supported it, they would go with it and Ling Lu would win. But it seems like we follow Lu Bu's plan, and nobody gets to debate him if um, if it's even. If he has the same number of supporters as any other officer, his plan carries the day because he's the ruler of the force, and that makes sense. I can follow that. It's a little bit like um, I don't know if he's watching this LP. Probably not. When Ethan Controller was playing the um, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's Kowai's uh, Pacific Theater. PTO, I think it's actually called the Pacific Theater of Operations 2. When you have to like get in debates with the um, the Minister of the Army and the the Prime Minister and whatever. The ja you're the Japanese naval guy. So he's saying better commerce. That's actually fairly doable. Because I want to go with strong military instead of better commerce. I get that this will be the last thing I try. No. Oh, I got Fat John to join me instead of Lu Bu, as long as it's still a military thing, so I I might win this time. Okay, so I managed to win. I, I kept us out of going on an attack on Cao Cao. Because I don't think that would be a good idea. I know he's in the middle of fighting Yuan Shao. People are probably thinking, this is the best opportunity. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to put my cards on the table. I, I couldn't help myself. I played a little off screen again. And Lu Bu AI, he's just terrible. He won't fucking attack. He'll He'll declare that his intention is to attack... And then he does a really poor job of it. So if we, if the Lubu force's objective is to destroy um, Cao Cao, the JG Mystery District is probably going to have to do the heavy lifting. And it is a game. I mean, I mean, you know, kind of, it's fair enough. We're the player character. We're told a district council for JG Mystery and Jiang Yang. Well, why do you decide? So Jiang Yang is where I'm heading. It's where I just left. So I shouldn't have shouldn't have left. If you had told me before I left, it would have been nice. That's okay. And now I get to hang around. Great. Oh, after the merchant gathering, would you like to come? As long as it's local, we'll get a little gold. Probably should have waited for an officer to need help instead, but whatever. 
Council members have assembled. Well, I'm busy. I'm at the merchants gathering. Okay, they did give you a chance to interrupt your action, which is nice. So now Lubu wants to set the what my district is going to do. Zhang Liao, why does he have a say? He's not in my district. So he wants to do spear. He actually wants to do something very similar to what I was suggesting. Falger, Mr. Culture. Ah, well. I guess we missed out on our last district. Um. Our last district thing we uh, we didn't get to do in time, so I could suggest that, but you know what? I'm actually going to back uh, Zhang Liao because uh, Falzer's been kind of a pain in my ass, and Zhang Liao is always showing up at these things, so it's not a bad idea to build rapport with him. You assholes all sided with uh, Falger anyway, although Falger, I mean, it's domestic. They're both just kind of growth things. Oh, Zhang Liao wants to debate Falger. He sh he's like, what? That isn't very nice. Let's watch two computer characters debate. This would be fun. It's Falger debating Zhang Liao. Now, in this case, Zhang Liao should lose to the created officer, but at least kind of amusing anyway. I feel like Zhang Liao should let me step up and debate him. One shot KO. He didn't even have to call upon his love from Fall Jacksaurs. It was not even worth mentioning my love for Fall Jacksaurs. As you can see, my proposal is just as perfect and complete as my Let's Play of Super Mario Bros. RPG. Indeed. So we're going to go with Falger's, uh wimpy, touchy-feely domestic plan. We have an overall military plan, uh, military improvement plan, and Falger has stuck us with a regional domestic plan, which basically means we're going to fail one or the other. Good job, Falger. Uh, and now he's assigning somebody with a 33 government score and no culture skills to build culture to meet his wonderful plans. And I'm going to have you discipline those bows, because even though it doesn't go along with our overall um, domestic thing... Yeah, make Falger do it too, even though you're both going to hit the same wall before this is over. Personnel, hire... I didn't know about the person, but I must try. Oh! So I'm supposed to be able to hire Dragon Demon. You must have Dragon Demon and I must be the one to do it. Spy mission, Wuju of Ling Ling. At some point I'm going to have to make a spy mission work just to, just to have done it. Are there any villages that we could be placating, or should be placating? No. Well, I got Vulture uh, Bean down there. She's a good domestic officer. If we're going to, um, if we need to raise our culture by a whole lot. All right, Jesus. Thank you. Here's a really tough culture mission to reward you for constantly getting in the way of my plans. That's not fair. Not entirely unfair either. 
Uh, oh, we probably need to figure out what city this prisoner is in. I'm assuming it's Zhangliang or whatever the one we just took was. Um, that didn't really tell us, did it? Damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, Dragon Demon is currently a prisoner of love. He's a prisoner in Wuling. <coughs> so if we can get to Wuling, which is not the city we took over most recently, it's the one we took over right before that. Which is actually part of JG District instead of like Ubu District. And as we're and in theory, I should consider moving here so I can personally oversee its growth, get it to grow faster, since it's now a frontline city. But I'm spoiling myself a little, and actually, uh, oh, is there any cool specialties here? That's an arrow. That'll give me a little a little boost with the uh, the lovely lady Lulinki. That is not what I meant to do. I could visit the ruler of the city. Um, Lita's grandma and Rin Satori are both, uh, you know, have a decent rapport with me. Mr. P, well, I'm rather something of a stranger with Mr. P and Udo Wuya. But in fact, we need to be visiting Dragon Demon. Did you want something from me? Hey, they shouldn't really let you have that spear inside the cell. Dragon Demon will be just waited to join, but it will take him almost ten days. Hopefully he does not ask for a duel. Will you serve Lu Bu and lend us your strength? I do. I have no reason to refuse. The weak I may be, I should do my best to serve. I knew you would say as such. Now let us return to Jiangling. Alright, so we got uh, Dragon Demon to join our force. Li Mu, prisoner of Lu Bu, has escaped. That's too bad. Is there anyone, we should, anyone else we should visit while we're here? I could say hello to Luedo Wuya. Look who it is. What have you come for today? I guess I already know her. Um. And I probably already know Mr. P as well. Uh. Just from. You know, being in battle with him or whatever. Is there any other officers of. I can introduce myself to these guys just to make it easier to hire them. And you are not bad officers. What is it? Cajole? You are far too wise and intelligent to serve under someone as blind as Liu Biao. You dare insult my lord? I will not excuse it no matter the circumstance. Forgive me, I was merely trying to test your loyalty. I think I've made him angry. Okay, so... I guess cajoling's not a good idea. Unless you... Already knew the officer. Pretty darn good. That does happen in the novel, though. People would say, hey, I was just testing you. When they were obviously, you know, trying to, like, get a trail going. You were asking for help with training. Uh, I suppose I could. Maybe eventually I can get my rapport with Zerfold to be high enough that he stops fucking up all my plans at the council. And you want Dragon Demon to work on culture, even though he sucks at it. But that's okay, it'll give him a chance to, to get the ball rolling on getting some deeds for Li, Lu Bu's force. Bow proficiency has increased in Jiangling, now able to organize heavy bow forces, which is a good thing. <laughs> All right. I need to report my mission completed and think about what I've done. Let's see, who could I hire? He's, he's, it's like we should be able to hire him, but he works for Sun Shuen. I mean, am I in the, am I looking to hire away his guys right now?
Wang Ju would be an interesting one to hire away. Strategery. Is there any way spying can help? I don't even really get what spying does. I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want it to affect my forced selfie? <laughs> Looks like we've got all the villages that we can. This video might be going a little long. It's the last one I'm going to do tonight, so... Got my ministers assigned. And they're all pretty dang good. Falger is an intelligence of 99. That moron, by far the least intelligent of my ministers. 99 out of 100. What a fool. Cajole. I'm not so sure anymore. Is there no one who can do it? Am I really going for the throw? This task might be too difficult. Well, what about Shang Yang? I could search Shang Yang for myself. Why the hell not? I'm bored and I'm going to Shang Yang. You guys take care of business while I'm gone. I mean, this really is a potentially stupid move. It takes a while to travel back and forth between the cities. But I got governors in all the cities, so. Oh, isn't that. How you doing? What a strange coincidence, you know, the series known for pork drippings. Hey, sexy 69 or 4 with Fat John, that's not good, really. Got good results for Wang Kang. Everybody Wang Kang tonight. You want Shao Army has conquered G. I believe that's a Gong Zung Zan city, so it looks like, yeah, they're gonna finish off Gong Zung Zan before they put too much more effort into fighting off Cao Cao. Yeah, it looks like they've got some peace between them for now. And indeed, uh, some of Cao Cao's frontline cities look like they've got more troop count than uh, the cities of uh, Yuan Shao. Man, look at Luo Yang. Damn, that's going to be a tough nut to crack. I, You know, you guys can say what you want in the comments. I honestly don't feel like it would have been wise to try to take Cao Cao out any earlier. He's He's already established in this scenario. There's no taking him out before he's established here. So, let's uh, communicate telepathically with uh, Vulture Bean and tell her that it is okay for this little lady here to expand some culture. And that I am going to investigate this rulerless city. And hopefully find something worth a while. An officer, a village or something. Alright, Kiao's barracks can build something. We're going to go with the reduced working time one. And we will do the same thing at a different um, town that has also hit its peak. Luling Ki is actually our super um, officer of the uh, month. That's nice. Send the little lady a, a little letter. Should not be calling her the little lady. Even after our my character, my in-game avatar is married to this fictional woman, probably shouldn't be calling her the little lady. During the investigation of Xiang Yang, we made contact with a village. Okay, so that makes it that would be considered a success. But uh, I'll go ahead and investigate one more time in case there's something better. 
Wong Kong wants to improve crops, and he's got the chops, so let's let him do it. He'll actually get us pretty close to an improvement if he pulls that off. And after this investigation, I really got to call it a video and get to bed, so... Having a good time playing the game. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I don't know if these are pleasant videos to listen to. Hey, there's another village in the outskirts. Well, that kind of makes me want to keep exploring, though. 31 days later. Well... <sighs> no... If I do that, I'm basically guaranteeing I won't get back in time to do deeds. Matter of fact, I probably already am not going to make it back in time to get any deeds. So maybe I should have just kept searching anyway and been like, screw it. I don't know how many days I was given to accomplish the task. It said 31, but that might have been how many days I had already spent. Lu Su forces marched out to Guan Ling. So, uh... I would expect before the end of the next video, the Zhao army will fall. Uh, I'm not personally going to do anything about it other than bitch about the fact that we should have taken those cities. And I'm blaming Lu Bu. And I mentioned that I'd done some off-screening where Lu Bu did a poor job against Cao Cao. I gotta stop doing all this off-screening. It's, But um, my off-screening, just playing a whole bunch of years in one shot without saving and messing around... Um, at a council, another advisor recommended that we attack uh, Yuan Shu, and I went ahead and supported that. So it didn't happen. Created characters decided with Yuan Shu. Don't freak out. That was an alternate reality. But uh, we took over Yuan Shu's territories, and then I used a uh, another council to get peace with Wu, and that was nice because those two cities both ended up being part of my district. So I had this district that was kind of like the whole northern shore of the Zhongdong. And it gave me a lot more firepower to use against Liu Biao. My off-screening had actually gone a lot better than what we have saved here. Although, to date, Liu Bu hasn't thrown away tons of troops against Cao Cao in the north while I'm trying to keep things together in the south, yet. But definitely, the off-screening was going better than this. Mission complete. So I did get a little bit of merit, but not very much. Yeah, my off-screen actually made it all the way up to rank 1, which is the highest you can get. She wants this guy to work on culture. It's not horrible, so we'll give him a shot. And I wonder if I can actually go placate those villages I just discovered up way the f up there. Well, on this zoom-in map, you can't uh, even see them, I guess. Doesn't look like they are something that we can interact with from this far out. Plus 500 commerce, they will fight and take that back, probably. And it's actually picking a bit of a fight with um, the Soon clan if you start trying to take their villages. I think what I'm actually going to do is just call it. So again, kind of wish I'd recorded the off-screen stuff and not this, because uh, in the off-screening I'd certainly run into some challenges, but um, made just as good progress in the south, but also took over the territories of um, Yuan Shu, rather than letting one of them go to Sun Xuan, and the other one is certainly going to go to Sun Xuan. There's, there's, hold on. We just saved, but what if I was to say protect Guan Ling? Auto form. We get one unit marching out. We're not even gonna. We're not even gonna send from anywhere else. Yep. All right, because I can't march out of any of the cities that aren't my district, and the only city in my district that's over there, uh, none of the others are gonna bother. They're too far away. Okay, so that's it. We're calling it a video, and when we come back, uh, we've got an overall uh, military preparation mission. We have a local domestic preparation mission, and personally, even though we're no longer going to get a lot of deeds for it, I 
I need to finish off Liu Biao's force because they are going to just continue to be hostile towards. I guess we could like let things chill out as they are now for a while and see. But um, I'm trying to find weak opponents to, to pick on and gain power before we go after the stronger opponents. We'll see how it works next time.